It's high school basketball action here at the Palace in Coldwater tonight. The Cavaliers hosting the new Bremen Cardinals in action this evening. Hello again, everyone, alongside Danny Holbrook. I'm Patrick Hamler. Coldwater looking to get off the loss that they had here uh, earlier this week to Elida taking on New Bremen. That is still kind of looking for that secret sauce to get things going in the season. Uh, they've dropped three of their last four contests, and it's going to be a tough hill to climb tonight against the Cavaliers at home. Yeah, Patrick, great to be here with you tonight on this frigid Friday night. You take a look at the New Bremen Cardinals, Patrick. They started out the year 0-3. They won two out of three, but now they've lost three out of four. Can Consistency has to be a big issue with them right now. They've got to come in here, they've got to settle down, and they've got to take the crowd out of this game. Coldwater's got a huge home crowd tonight. And for the Cavaliers, they started out the season 6-0. They've lost two of the last three. They want to get that winning way back. Consistency is going to be one of those things that the new Bremen faithful certainly going to look for as uh, you look at down the list for the new Bremen Cardinals, Aaron Tiemann, Jackson Leonard's Keaton put off. Rogan Muther and Hayden Zeller, the starters tonight for the Cardinals over on the other end for the hometown Cavaliers. Balen Blockberger, Mason Wells, Brady Leifeld uh, getting the start as well as Miles Potcotter and Luke Schwederman. And the uh, Cardinals under head coach Corey Stevens. I know one of the things that they'll want to look for is we get started and already a whistle. So. John Derryberry threw that one just a little <laughs> bit high. <laughs> Got a little chuckle out of it. Yeah. All right. He came over early. Yeah, he came over earlier and said the A team must be here tonight when he introduced himself to me. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I said there was a couple tall guys jumping it there from Coldwater New Bremen, <laughs> and uh, we are underway here from the Palace. And I'm sure one of the things he's going to mention that Corey Stevens wants to see is, you know, wants to see some consistency, like see some better shooting and. You know, really look at the numbers in the charity stripe this season for New Bremen. They're uh, not sparkling, to say the least. you got to think you want to see a little more consistency there as far as not turning the basketball over as Blockberger able to uh, thief that one for the first turnover of the game. And, you know, Patrick, when I was coaching basketball, if we were having a funk where we weren't winning games or we were not playing really well, I used to tell my kids, hey, look, let's get to the rim, let's get some contact, and let's create a situation where we can shoot more free throws than the other team. If we would shoot more than 10 or 12 free throws than the other team, we usually had a good chance – of doing really well. Here's a three ball in the corner. That one long from Miles Potcotter. Rebounded into the hands of Jackson Leonard. And now it's Aaron Tiemann, the six foot senior, bringing it up the court. Here you see him creating some of that contact, getting inside there and blocked. Shot that one out by Sweeter and able to recover, get it back around the rim. No good. That time, second chance by Hayden Zeller. Puts it in for the Cardinals. Schwederman is a really a, a good player on the defensive end. He's long. He's got great length. He understands what he has to do in the middle. Uh, they don't need a big game from him, but he does have to present a problem on defense. Action underneath is that shot by Mason Welsh. No good. And the Cardinals coming back the other way. Put off, leading the charge. Muther in the corner. You know, reset the offense. Minute and a half gone by here in the first quarter. There's a nice feed inside. A little short, second chance opportunity, and foul from behind as Mason Welsh draws his first foul of the contest. Uh, did you see what Keaton put off did there? He put his man on the back side of him, so he had the baseline to use as another uh, an extension of his, of his body, basically, and he held his hand up, and they got a throw into him, and it was really a nice seal. Put off at the line, and he hits the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Shouldn't we call that the foul line? You know, I mentioned that <laughs> last year, and there were some light bulbs that went on, and I'm like, I don't know if I should go with it, but... It's the first dad joke of the game. Though, there, <laughs> and not the last. Second Lee's foul line shot is good. Makes it 4 nothing, New Bremen. And this is the start New Bremen wanted, Patrick. They wanted to come in here. Mm -hmm. They wanted to, ex you know, basically ex ex exert themselves and, uh, you know, get a nice lead and play with that lead. Play with confidence. You have to feel like if you're the Cardinals, really nothing to lose. No one's coming in here expecting a Cardinal win tonight at New Bremen. Maybe might be the only guys on the bench for the Cardinals expecting them to come away with a win tonight. And so far, they are playing with that confidence that you just talked about. Yeah, well, you know, the three and seven. But let me tell you something. Corey Stevens does a great job with this group, and he has been an excellent coach for a lot of years. He'll get this thing turned around. There's a three ball. Good. Jackson Leonard's knocking that one down, and it's a 7 nothing lead for the Cardinals here in the first quarter. And this pressure that New Bremen is, is putting on Coldwater is causing them a little bit of a problem. It's slowing them down, and you want to do that. You want to you know, make them think because they bring that ball up the floor. 
Cavaliers dropped their last contest last week to Elida, 44 to 42. You have to wonder if there might be some residual feelings from that contest as Coldwater off to kind of a slow start, and there's a turnover. Well, I believe that's Coldwater's first. And it's pretty cool that uh, Coldwater started the season out 6-0 and with that run in the football playoffs. You know, most schools have a lot of trouble getting their legs back and getting into basketball shape. Yep. Coldwater's done a really nice job of that transition. There's a pull-up jump shot by Teeman is good and how about this Cardinals fans a 9 nothing start so we sounded like we know what we're talking about when we said New Bremen needed to get a nice uh, lead out here <laughs> sometimes it's better to be lucky than good that's right that shot off the mark by Schwederman second chance opportunity and he will go to the foul line that's going to be a really nice battle between Hayden Zeller the 6-5 forward for New Bremen and Schwederman Hayden Zeller is a you know a wide body that can stand down there get his hands up and, and at least make Schwederman have to move yep. around the block Foul called on Keaton put off. That's his first, team's first. And Schwederman, a 75% foul shooter at the Lee's free throw line, and it's good. I, I can tell you this, and, I, and I'm sure that, that uh, Nick Fisher th feels the same way. If I've got a 6'7 kid like Schwederman who shoots 75% from the line, you're getting the ball a lot in the block. I can yep, promise yep. you that. <laughs> Second shot is up and good. First points of the night for the Cavaliers makes it 9-2 New Bremen. There you're seeing some pressure. They got Schwederman out top on that press. Got those long arms, and he'll cause problems for any ball handler out top. Grant Dickey in the contest. Now for the Cardinals, he takes it up. Shot partially blocked. Brady Layfeld brings it up. Halfway through this first quarter. The Speedway Lanes first quarter, speeding through this first stanza of basketball action. There's a nice cut inside. Looks like you lost the handle of Schwederman trying to save it, and it's going to be out of bounds on the Cavaliers. You see Balin, Balin Blockberger, excuse me, uh, on the left side there. He's the quarterback from the football team. He's a really good athlete. You expect some really good defense from him and do the dirty work. Get on the floor. Get your rebounds. That's the kind of player he is. Look for a pass inside. Put off now. Passes it. Ryland Bussey, his three ball is short. Put off is there. Second chance opportunity. That one bounces off the knee of Blockberger, and that will be a turnover and back to the Cavaliers. Pull up jumper by Mason Welsh. That one just short. Yeah, Mason needed to take another step in there. If they're going to give you that, don't take a 10-footer. Take a 6-footer if they're going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. And they pulled off of him right away. So he'll understand that. His coach will tell him that because he's going to the bench right now. <laughs> Have a conversation with head coach Nick Fisher, maybe some other coaches. <laughs> Talking that one through. Here's Dickey underneath. He kicks it back out. Leonard working inside, but finds the path closed. Kicks it back to the top of the key. Now Muther loses the handle. Back the other way. Here is Leifeld. Spin, kick out. Blockberger from downtown around the rim and no good. And there you saw the release, and he's got a really nice, you know, shot. Blockberger does. It's a little bit too far out. Here's Leonard with a three-ball try, and that one is no good. These kids know each other from so many other sports. This is a big rivalry down in the MAC, and you know they, they play against each other during the summer, and a lot of these kids are related, so they know each other's games a lot. Everyone just seems friendlier. And they do. Than when <laughs> I was in school. We, we didn't know our rivals. Yeah, like we, we didn't play basketball with these guys. We looked at them, we scowled from the other side of the court. <laughs> now these guys are playing basketball together all through the summer. And that was a nice basket. Up and in there by Schwederman, his first points, nine to four. New Bremen's lead. Not only is Luke Schwederman long and lengthy, he, he's left-handed. Those are really hard. Left-handed players are different to have to guard when you do everything on the right yep. side, and then Schwederman brings it to you on the left side. It's, it's difficult. Traveling called on that last possession. It will go back to Coldwater. So a 9-0 start for New Bremen, and the Cavaliers have been able to chip into the lead here in the last minute and a half. A couple of free throws and a bucket. Luke Schwederman, the only Cavalier with a field goal so far. 
And this will be interesting, Patrick. They put Luke Schwederman on the bench, and you just wonder if they're going to give him a break here for the, one, the last 158 of this quarter. But if I'm New Bremen, if he's on the bench, guess what we're doing? We're going right at mm -hmm. the rim. Schwederman, a 6'7 senior, tallest guy on the team. So I would think, Dan, you're absolutely right. We try to press the issue inside. Here's Blockburger from downtown. That one high off the side rim, no good. Here's Muther charging down the court, spins. Has it poked away, but nice save there by New Bremen. Looking inside, nice cut and around the defense as Hayden Zeller gets it in. Now, if <laughs> Schwederman's in the ballgame, taking that left side baseline is not going to be easy. But because he's on the bench, there wasn't a presence there on the defensive end. Zeller, nice size of Wells, the 6'5 senior. And as you're right, if Schwederman's in the game right now, that's not available. And now a turnover. Great job by Zeller getting his hands up and deflecting that ball. Cody Depwig's pass intercepted. Muther's three ball off the mark. Recovered. And I'm going to say he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Did Zeller. Yeah, it looked like just, a, just the tip of his foot went across that line. But John Derryberry, you know, Johnny on the spot made the call, which was the yep. right call. It, interesting to note, too, Patrick, that you look at New Bremen's defensive average of 55 points a game, and they've only given up four points here in the first quarter, mm -hmm. so well under their season average. So, you know, they're making a concerted effort to fix the things that they know are wrong, yeah. and, that, and that's just good coaching. Here's a free ball. That one looks long. It is long, but Miles Podcotter, and now a race for it. Podcotter able to retrieve essentially his own shot. Good hustle play by him. Going the other side, Schwederman gets his eye way up in the air. Working around the side, shot no good. And I think we're going to have a tie-up and possession arrow favoring the Cavaliers. And now Coldwater going with a little bit of size there. They've got uh, Kunk in the ball game. He's 6'6". Six, six. Now you've got 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, so they understood the last time that uh, New Bremen came down the floor, they attacked that rim. It's not going to be so easy this time. Another substitution is... Layfeld will come out and really just, you know, put some size in there and see if we can get some up-close shots Absolutely. and create some offense. Cavaliers have only had one field goal here in the first quarter. And there's 39 seconds remaining in the opening stanza. Cutting inside, Blockburger off balance, off the glass, and in. There you see the athleticism of uh, Blockburger does a nice job. He took a couple outside shots, and then he just stepped in. He understood that maybe, you know, let's get to the rim and get some contact. I like that thinking. Here's a long three ball off the rim and glass, no good. Rebound by put off. He shot that from the volleyball line. He did. <laughs> Pull up, shot, no good. There's Luther's attempt, and that will do it for the first quarter of action. It is 11 to 6, New Bremen. On top, we head to the second quarter. You're watching high school basketball action on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. And our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Second quarter ready to get started here from the Palace at Coldwater. Patrick Campbell, Danny Holbrook with you. New Bremen with an 11 to 6 lead over the Cavaliers. And we had mentioned about New Bremen getting out to a fast start. And they have a five point lead here in the first eight minutes. They do. And I thought they did a terrific job of defending Coldwater and forcing some really bad shots, to be honest with you. They took a lot, you know, took a few threes and they were on the run when they took those shots instead of being able to set up and get the ball into Schwederman on the block. So credit New Bremen with really good defensive stance. Cavaliers able to close the quarter on a 6 to 2 run. But not before the 9-0 start for New Bremen. So the Cavaliers and the Cardinals back to work. Here's Leonard's with a three ball. That one off the back. And saved 
Nice athletic play there by Potcotter to save it. And Swedeman on the other side, reverse layup doesn't go. Second chance opportunity put back in as Owen Kunk makes his presence felt in the game. And I thought that was a fantastic pass from Blockberger to Swedeman cutting to the rim. He didn't make the basket, but that was a nice play and a great job by Kunk of picking up the garbage and putting it back in. Good movement on that play. And now New Bremen will try to get something going. Team and dribbles out will reset the offense. Nice handle, trying to thread the needle there, getting it inside the Leonard's, but coming up with the steal is Blockberger. Now he'll kick it out, work it around to Schwederman. I'll say it again, he, he's, he's a Mr. Everything for this team, Blockberger. He does a lot of, you saw him get in there, get his hand in there. You saw the pass he made down here. He's on the floor. I, I really like his game. <laughs> and I think football's his best sport, but he's pretty good at basketball too. A little bit of a scrum for the basketball. Cavaliers get it back. Pull up, jump shot there is Owen Kunk. Back to back buckets for the Cavaliers and they've cut it to a one point. New Bremen lead. And Patrick, the reason he was able to get down on the low post is because the whole defense had switched down when Schwederman was down on the baseline. They put all their attention on him. He, sl he just slips right in and gets the easy bucket. That shot by put off is no good. Cavaliers the basketball, long pass underneath. Mason Welsh couldn't finish. You got to have those. You got to have those. Every chance you get when you get a shot like that, you got to put that in. Would have given Cavaliers the lead for the first time tonight. New Bremen hanging on to a nice spin move, floating jump shot. Leonard's putting that one in. That's a great job. I love to see kids when they attack the rim like that. He got his shoulders squared. He got his feet set. He just took it up. Regardless of what was going to happen, mm -hmm. he was going to go to the rim. Three-point lead here. Schwederman to tie it. No. Schwederman stepping out in three-ball land. And, there you and see getting it. up yeah. for the steals, too. <laughs> And Nick Fitcher is going to call a timeout. We will take it as well. 5-11 remaining in the second quarter. It's a 13-10 New Bremen lead. You're watching high school basketball action on WOSA. Our quarter sponsor is Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. 5-11 remaining in the second quarter, three-point lead for New Bremen. It was a hot start for the Cardinals. Cavaliers have been able to chip away and have cut the lead down to three. Well, I thought it was a big difference when they put Kunk in the ball game, and now you're going big across the front line. And you see Schwederman steps out and takes that three because he knows that he's got a big body in the middle there. Coldwater definitely with some size on the team and also with a lot of experience, all seniors and juniors at the varsity level for the Cavaliers. It's mostly that for the Cardinals as well. Gavin Quellhorst is the one of the few, or what you'd say, underclassmen, sophomores and under on the basketball team. Nice floating jump shot there by Blockberger. Blockberger did a great job, Patrick. They were in a zone, and he found the soft spot in the zone. He went right to it in a nice little soft jumper. Good execution by him, and now a pass. Able to get that one after a little hesitation was Bussy. With their long three ball. <laughs> Almost shot that one from Maria Stein. Yes, he did. <laughs> All back the other way, and Blockberger puts it in, and that is the first lead of the night for the Cavaliers. And they've done a great job of chipping away. You said that earlier. What a fantastic job of getting that lead and getting this home crowd a little more excited. Let's see what New Bremen does now that they're behind in this ball game. They've weathered a little bit of the storm, and now they've got to come back and assert a little bit here. The Cavalier faithful have been a little subdued. Yeah, there's a big That's crowd on hand. It's it just kind of kind of quiet tonight. Probably thinking about the uh, bread and milk and eggs they're going to have to buy. <laughs> Foul here on the floor. <laughs> the white death that's it's, it's turned it's into rain. Out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a, rain. <laughs> it's a French toast emergency. I don't know. <laughs> We've got to make soup, large pots of soup. <laughs> right. First foul on Blockburger. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have bread and milk on hand. We just want that's to get right. That's this, right. The storm. <laughs> 
Cardinals inbound. Working it up. Officials letting them play tonight. They sure are. They got some physicality down there. A great job by Owen Kunk of just walling up. And he didn't have to move his feet. He just put his hands straight up in the air and they couldn't get around him. Yep. Now you're seeing New Bremen go back to that zone a little bit and uh, trying to uh, negate the size on Coldwater's team. I don't know if the Midwest Athletic Conference plays a more physical brand of basketball than other conferences in the area, but they do certainly play a physical brand of basketball. Well, we know they're physical in football. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> that is for sure. There are other conferences in football in the state of Ohio who have nightmares that are Mac-flavored. <laughs> Long possession here for the Cavaliers. The Bremen defense. Very stout on this side of the court. Looking for something there. Is yeah, they're, they're sending Kunk to the high post, and they're just not fighting. There they found him now. It's his job to move that ball down towards the basket, and they uh, give it up there. And they finally force the turnover. Almost getting it back, and I think so they, they did get out. a timeout. Yeah, they got a timeout. So Corey Stevens saving the possession there as he gets the timeout. We'll take it as well. 2.17 remaining. Cavaliers with the lead here on WOSN. Back at it here on WOSN. Cavalier basketball. I'm sorry, New Bremen basketball trailing by one. Work it inside. Nice closing defense there by Schwederman. Thought that uh, Hayden Zeller had a lane, and then all of a sudden he didn't. <laughs> Great job of getting back. And uh, I, I like I like the fact that New Bremen came out of that timeout and attacked the rim. I thought they got away from that a little bit here in the second quarter, but now you know that was a great play out of a timeout. At the Leeds Fairness Rescue Chicken foul line is Hayden Zeller, and this is the first. Talked about New Bremen having some problems at the foul line this season. 63.6% is Zeller shooting from the charity stripe. He gets the second one. Yeah, as a team, it looks like they're right around 54%. And uh, you got you got to pick that up a little bit. You got to pick that up a whole lot. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, for sure, yeah. Yeah. Three ball by Potcutter and no. I saw a rainbow shot. Couldn't get it to go. One forty remaining in the first half, all tied up at 14. Fadeaway jump shot, splash down. Nice looking shot by Aaron Tiemann. There again, Aaron Tiemann had a chance to take a three ball, but he took two steps up. He cleared some space out and got a nice shot. Now he had to fall back a little bit. Working it around again and almost giving up. Owen Kunk passes it off. Pull up, shot, doesn't fall. Second chance opportunity. Schwederman has it, gives it away. Leifeld, he's shot, can't go. They're getting good looks, Patrick. They're just not knocking them down. And you hope in the second half that changes, but they're getting good looks. Nice step back shot in front of the rim, however. Rebound by Cavaliers as we come up on 34 seconds remaining in the first half. Kind of looked like the same shot Aaron Tiemann had taken the last time. Might have been. Potcotter spins around and gets it to go. And we're all tied at 16. 23 seconds left. Good job by Potcotter of adjusting his body and taking the ball up and under and scoring. And a turnover. Here's Blockburger taking it all the way with the left hand. That's how you attack the left side of the basket. That was a nice job by Blockburger. Final seconds, Tiemann pulls up, shot is long. It's going to be out of bounds on, on the RSA. It's out of bounds on Coldwater. I think they're going to get a foul, Patrick. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, indeed, you're right. Yeah. So, so the new Bremen player went up for the rebound, and the Coldwater player kind of pushed his back into him to box him out for going up, and that's what they got the foul on. Third team foul on Coldwater. 
That won't matter here in 3.7 seconds. New Bremen to inbound. Ball inbound. Nice pass. Three ball on the way and good to give New Bremen the lead. Heading into halftime, 19 to 18. Ryland Bussey knocking that one down. And we head to halftime. It's a one point lead for the Cardinals. We're back for the third quarter when we come back here on WOSN. Welcome back. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. And Speedway Lanes, our quarter sponsor for the third quarter here tonight. Speedway Lanes in New Bremen brings family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. Halftime wrapping up here from the Palace at Coldwater, New Bremen with a 19 to 18 lead over the hometown Cavaliers. Patrick Hamler, Danny Holbrook here with you, and it has been a it's been a game. There's a lot of different ways yeah, you could describe yeah. kind of how it's going, but New Bremen's got to feel pretty good. Corey Stevens got to feel pretty good with them having a one-point lead here at halftime. Yeah, but you, you look at both teams, and you look at both teams' leading scorers, and Aaron Tiemann for New Bremen and, and Luke Schmiedemann for, for, for Coldwater, both of them have four points. You, you got to get production out of your leaders. And the game has been such that it's just kind of been a choppy. There's not been a lot of runs. And we talked about that off the air a little bit. Somebody's got to get into rhythm. And that's what I talk about, getting to the rim and getting to the foul line and putting points on the board. Coldwater will start with the basketball to begin the third quarter. And a game that looked like that well, maybe it might get away from Coldwater early. We were right, yeah. with that 9-0 lead. And then Coldwater responded with a 10-2-2 10, uh, 10 to two run. But then, it really, since then, it's been very back and forth, and I would imagine it's going to be a nip and tuck affair here the rest of the way. Pass inside to Schwederman, and loses the basketball. Going back the other way, and connecting is put off for the first points of the third quarter. Yeah, there you see a, a, a tough call down low from Schwederman. He hit the floor, as he does now, and put off does a great job of running the floor. And you talk to guys all the time about how can I score, coach? Well, look, you can rebound, you can run the floor, you can beat guys down the floor, and you can get easy buckets. Brady Layfeld called on the foul, his second. Team's first of the third quarter, and now that last sequence there is really indicative of the fact that we mentioned this earlier that no. the officials are really letting them play. There, yep. some of those we we don't think there's going unless they change it up. There's not going to sure. be a lot of ticky tack foul no. calls tonight. They're going to let the kids play basketball, and unless there's you know blood spilled or something exactly, like that, yeah. they're not going to call it. Yeah. And that shot gets the friendly roll for Hayden Zeller. And there you see the first two buckets of the night for the Cardinals, or for the second half. The Cardinals get to the rim on both occasions. And I really like that philosophy. So Zeller is called on that foul. You look at the schedule New Bremen's played, uh, Patrick, it is a juggernaut when you play teams like Rushi and St. John's, uh, Elida Salina stepping into the WBL, and St. Mary's, uh, Audeville. They, they, look, they're they're three and seven, but they have played a meat grinder of a schedule. Yeah, that three and seven record, I don't believe is indicative of the, the talent level, the ability sure. of this Cardinal team. Again, you, you play those, those tougher teams, so there's something to be said is you're not quite there yet, but you know, there's a lot of room to grow for this team here, not even halfway through the season. There's a nice rebound there by Muther as he brings it. And across the timeline. Now Zeller working underneath, able to save it. Back to Muther, he cuts inside, off balance, and around the rim and in. And those are just going New Bremen's way here in the third quarter. Well, you saw it in the first half, Patrick. They got a 9-0 start. They come out here in the second half, and they go 6-0 to start the second half. That, that's just kids that are responding to what their coach is asking them to do. Schwederman, another off-balance shot. Hasn't really had a chance to set his legs and get something going there. Here's Zeller behind the pack, off the glass and in. That's an 8-0 run, Patrick, and every shot has been in the paint. Indeed, 8-0 for the Cardinals, and Nick Fisher wants to talk this one over. Cavaliers looking for some answers here, trailing nine with 5.26 remaining in the third quarter. You're watching high school basketball action here on WOSN.
Welcome back. 526 left in the third quarter. Nice 8-0 run for the Cardinals to start the third quarter, Danny. Yeah, New Bremen, you know, Patrick, we look at the stats, and New Bremen shoots 27% from behind the three-point line, but their two-point percentage is almost a 50% clip. The last four shots have been in the paint, and I really, really like that philosophy. They have been taking it to the paint and paying off. Some of the shots that they've hit have been not exactly circus shots, but certainly low percentage <laughs> right. as far as the end the paint goes. And they've been able to make those work. And now New Bremen forcing another turnover and able to hang on to it. Three ball on the way around the rim and no good. And a foul will be called. Yeah, Hayden Zeller got a little zealous there and went over the back. And uh, <laughs> see we'll what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's Zeller's second, team second. And you, you gotta wonder, Patrick, with with Coldwater being seven and two and two and zero oh in the MAC, they're the favorite, obviously, in this game tonight. You gotta wonder if it doesn't amp up the longer that New Bremen can hold that lead. Do they get a little tighter? Do they start thinking more about this? So, yeah. you know, Coldwater's got to cut that lead down before we get to that fourth quarter. Cavaliers still looking for their first points of the third quarter. They went quite a while before they were able to put any points up in the first quarter. In fact. It was coming up on about a minute and a half left in the first quarter before they had their first field goal of the contest. That shot by Potcar is no good. Welsh is in there to clean it up and can't get it to go. Coldwater has struggled with those shots in the paint and really all over the court here so far tonight. All alone is put off and he puts that in. That's 10 unanswered, Patrick. They are really taking it to the rim. 10-0 run going back to the second quarter. And all the close-up bunnies that the Cavaliers are missing, New Bremen is connecting on. And here's another turnover off the legs of Kunk. Running the floor, trying to save this one, and it was last touched by Coldwater and as I'll, that ball was deflected. Tell you what else is really developing here, too, is when Coldwater's missing a shot, you're looking at the captain of this team. Teeman is grabbing the ball, and he is leading that break, and he is really doing a nice job of getting his guys in position to score. He's really effective at that point guard position. It's been pretty balanced scoring tonight for the Cardinals. No one has really jumped out, put off, has six points. And Tiemann, the aforementioned, he comes into the contest, their leading scorer, averaging a little over 11 points. He only has four so far, but yet, again, he's leading on the court. He's doing other things Absolutely. that you'd expect a senior leader to do on this basketball team. Coldwater forcing a turnover there. As Cavaliers looking for their first points of the first quarter, block, I'm sorry, third quarter, Blockburger's shot doesn't go. It will stay down here on this side of the court. Right, you look at this new Bremen roster, Patrick. They've got three guys, uh, uh, you know, right at the 10-point mark. You know, Tiemann's at 11.3, Jackson Leonard's 9.9, and Keaton put off 9.4. And you're right, they're getting scoring from a lot of areas, and they're getting easy buckets just like right here. Put off, taking up, and Sweeterman with the block and called for the foul. Look, I don't know what Luke Sweeterman could have done differently. He, there wasn't a lot of body contact on that block. It, it, I thought he did a great job of getting back on defense and doing what he had to do. Uh, I would have to agree with you. I don't know what Sweeterman could have, could have done differently. Longer arms, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you got pretty long arms there. Lee's recipe chicken free throw is no good. Put off 52.2% heading into the contest tonight from the Lee's foul line, and that second one does not go either. And that's really the only thing they've done wrong tonight there, Patrick, is missing those two free throws yep. in the second half. So apart from that, really hard to find a lot of issues with New Bremen's play. This is a long three ball by Balin Blockberger, and that cracks the goose egg in the score column for this quarter for the Cavaliers. Boy, they needed that in the worst way, Patrick. Now that may get them ignited and open up that middle a little bit and let Schwederman work around the block a little bit. Cardinal basketball, we're under three minutes to go in the third quarter. Eight point lead and charging inside is put off. No whistle. Shot is missed, and the Cavaliers have the basketball. <laughs> You're really letting them play tonight. This has been a very physical game. Here's Barkberger with another long three around the rim and out. Tuck puts it back up and in. There's five unanswered by the Cavaliers, so a nice job of, you know, working their way back into this. Blockberger has a heat check because he took it along with the first time, yeah. and that was out there too. 
The Cavaliers have to know there are no eight-point plays <laughs> right. Right. in the book, so you just got to chip away at the lead as best you can. Here's a nice feed inside. Ryland Bussey all alone. And timeout called on the court with 2.09 remaining. We'll keep it here. It's an eight-point lead for the Cardinals, and you know, really that you look back to the beginning of the quarter, an 8-0 start for the Cardinals, and really it was not anything spectacular. They had wide open shots in the paint. They took them. They hit them. It's basketball 101. Well, they, they, they started it on the defensive end, and all everything happened in transition, and Tiemann just ran the guys right to the rim, and they did a great job of getting to the rim. And, and then the last play we just saw, um, Bussy got an incredible screen at the high post, and he just made a great back cut. And those are things you work on in practice, and the guys found him, and he lays it in. That's just, You're right, basketball 101. It's stake the Cardinals to the 31-23 lead at this point. And you know, following the timeout, we'll see what the Cavaliers decide to do differently. But really, it's, you know, again, going back to that basic basketball thing, but the Cavaliers just not hitting the shots that are available. Uh, not getting feet set, not doing some of those basic things. We'll see what Coldwater can do to adjust and see if they can get that stuff going here in the third and remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's Sweeterman taking it strong. And if you want to get back in the game, that's how you got to do it. That's exactly what I would do, Patrick. I'd get the big man involved. I'd put him on the block, and we're going to make some buckets, or we're going to go to the free throw line. As we said earlier, he shoots 75% from the line. Let's use that to his ability. And Sweeterman also 50% from the field this season. So when he gets those shots, he hits them. He's going to need to start hitting them here if they want to have a chance to come back in this one. Uh, Bussy with a three-pointer and a foul underneath. And John Derryberry is saying, look, he can't throw the elbow. <laughs> right. Owen Kunk <laughs> jumping up and down. Had a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of the folks the in the crowd, of course, has their opinion. <laughs> I can't even talk. I was laughing at him so hard. <laughs> we should get him a headset. <laughs> Maybe he can come up here and call the game if you want. <laughs> Wiedemann, nice steal there, going the other side. They're going to give him the bucket, Patrick. Got it and the foul. Getting this crowd into it. Brady Leifeld with a three-point play, the old-fashioned way opportunity, and cutting more into this new Bremen lead. Great job by Brady Leifeld of getting to the bucket, taking the contact, and finishing the play. That's exactly what you got to do. So many times when kids get the contact, they don't keep their head towards the rim. They got to get that chin up, get your hand up, and that's exactly what he did, and he finished the play. You're getting me excited here. Look at me. I'm starting. <laughs> Once the voice Getting gets fired higher, up, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. Lee's fingers first to be foul on and completes the three point play 31 28. Exactly After. what they needed to do, Patrick, is get this thing down. Get this thing down close and manageable before the start of the fourth quarter. Gavin Quahorse, three ball, no good. A rugby scrum for the basketball. Going to get a tie-up, possession arrow, favoring New Bremen. Uh, Coach Corey Stevens, uh, don't know if he was he's having a, a <laughs> pretty meaningful conversation with John Derryberry, <laughs> and they get the ball back, so maybe he was wanting a foul on the play. I'm sure it happens very many times, and we've seen it where a coach wants something and the official is <laughs> just not really in the mood to give it to them. Well, John and Steve, and they, this crew's <laughs> been doing it a long time. They're good guys. They're good officials. They know what they're doing. Coming up on a minute left in the third quarter. A nice spin move. Finish it with a right hand. Rogan Muther putting it in. Nice job of using his left hand there and going to the opposite side of the rim, putting it in and creating some space where he can get an easy look. Conk able to hang on to the basketball after the attempted strip. Cunt cross court pass, Pot Potter, rainbow three, that one no good. Ball going out of bounds, and nice effort play by Cunt trying to, trying to get it. And the reason he was able to get that three off, Patrick, is because Schwederman swung on the other side and the entire defensive unit collapsed down to him. He had an open look, and he had a really good shot. It just come off the front of the rim. Yep. Coming up on 30 seconds left in the Speedway Lanes third quarter. Five point lead for the Cardinals. I would imagine they're going to hold for last shot. Uther controlling the basketball, now passing it off. Taking it in is put off. That shot doesn't go. Second chance opportunity in with the left hand. Nice job by Keaton put off using his left hand, scoring the basketball. Pass intercepted and then fouled. As 
Grant Dickey was bringing it up the court. Padre, we haven't talked about this much at all, but you know, when, when Coldwater does close the lead, New Bremen does a great job of responding. And now they're back up, you know, 35-28 when they close that gap to three. So a great job by New Bremen and not panicking when things weren't going their way. Yeah, absolutely. The Cardinals have not folded even through the no, Coldwater they runs. And they've been able to maintain the lead, push it back out. Seven point lead now. It's Cavalier, I'm sorry, Cardinal basketball. And they could make this a a possibly a double digit I was going to say, yeah, they can knock a three down here. Might be looking for that team and has it. Two, one, step back three. That was going to be short. And that will bring the third quarter to a close. One more quarter of basketball action. A 35-28 lead for New Bremen. You're watching High School Basketball Action on WOSN. Welcome back. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Get ready for the fourth quarter. 35-28 New Bremen on top of the Coldwater Cavaliers. Patrick Kamler, Danny Holbrook here with you high above center court and the palace here in Coldwater. This is a beautiful facility. I, I like coming over here. The people are great to us. And, man, just to play high school basketball in this arena is something else. A fun atmosphere to take in a basketball game, no doubt. Hoping for a nice finish to this one here on a soon-to-be chillier Friday night. Yeah. Well, the one thing that uh, Coldwater cannot have happen now is they can't allow another run like they allowed in the third quarter. They've got to close the gap here. Here's a three ball, and that's how you close the gap. Blockburger from downtown cuts it to a four-point New Bremen lead. That's his second three of the night. He's capable of stepping out there and really stretching that defense. And they're going to get a tie-up. And the ball will stay down this side of the court. Blockberger come into the game averaging 13 points. He has 14 tonight. We lost our light. And we're back. <laughs> the sleep function on our light here in our broadcast position turned on. Working inside, Leonard's, who's had a quiet night. And he is fouled. That's a great job. He, he took Mason Welsh down to the well, just checked the temperature of the room. And what I mean by that is he wanted to make sure that he could get to the rim. And once Welsh turned to the other side, he went right-handed and took it straight up. Second foul for Welsh, and that leaves recipe free throws no good. Came into the game 51.9% from the charity stripe. And we mentioned that's been... That second one is good. That's, that's been an issue for New Bremen this season. Yeah, it has. And we'll see if it's if it rears its ugly head here in the fourth quarter. Five-point lead for the Cardinals. Yeah, this is a crucial possession for Coldwater. They've got to get a bucket. You don't need a three here. You know, you get to the rim, maybe get some contact. Blockberger, you know, like you said, he's had a nice night tonight. Let's get the ball in his hands. Let him create a little bit. He's a really good athlete. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, maybe use some of those three balls that he has made to create some Absolutely. opportunities underneath. Pass, and Blockberger's going to take another long three, and splash down. And because they were able to rotate the ball, and because they went to the block, the defense came back, Blockberger got an easy look, and he knocks down his third three of the night. He has half of Coldwater's points tonight, 17 of them, and it's a two-point New Bremen lead. That's exactly what Coldwater needed to do, and they did it efficiently, and now they've closed that lead to two. Here's Zeller throwing the basketball for the Cardinals, passing it off. Now looking inside for Leonard's, and Leonard's call for the travel. Yeah, that was the right move, or the right call. He got him to lean back on the defender, and the defender just, you know, we taught our kids, if they're leaning back on you, just step away from them, they'll, they're going to go yep. backwards. So a nice job defensively by Coldwater there. So Blockburger's pace, the Coldwater attack, as I said, he has, we have, he has half their points. Been pretty even scoring for New Bremen. And how about that toss-up, Brady Leifeld, tying this one up at 36. What a great job by Brady Leifeld of, of looking outside of the three line, and then he goes in and hits an easy 12-footer. Timeout. Coach Stevens wants to talk it over. 5.39 remaining in 
Well, let's say regulation. Let's have some fun with it. You're watching high school basketball here on WOSN. This quarter brought to you by Speedway Lanes in New Bremen, bringing family and friends together with bowling fun and great food for everyone. New Bremen off the timeout. And they had a 11-point lead at one point in this contest. It is now tied at 36. You know, let's see uh, Coldwater, a little pep in their step. A nice job by team and got his man in the air and went straight into him. Yep. That's, just, that's just knowing the, 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 the environment of what you're in, and he did a great job. That's the third foul on Leifeld. Team second. And that will put Tiemann at the foul line. Lee's recipe chicken free throw is no good. You mentioned that earlier, Patrick. This is, this is huge. You're right. They've got to get rid of those demons on the foul line and start knocking some shots in. Second Lee's free throw is good. 37-36. You look at some of the games they've lost, and they've been really close affairs. And, uh, you know, Ottaville beat them by four. And, uh, Versailles beat them by 12, so they've lost some really close games. Sweeterman's shot is blocked by Leonard, the 6'4 senior getting up and blocking the 6'7 senior shot. Well, if you're trailing late, what's the textbook coach move? Is you foul the other team and send them to the foul line trying to make their shots. That's something that could be extremely successful here. Sure. If that's if shack, hack a shack, right? Right, hack a shack. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Another timeout here on the court. We are pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. Eight dollars a month for only eight bucks. You can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. So you can watch us anywhere in the world. You can watch us. I was going to say you can watch us in any language, but right, you well, could be in any language yeah. and listen to us, but if you don't speak English, you're not going to understand much of what we say. No, and, and, and sometimes when we, you don't understand what we're saying, even if you do speak English, you know. Excellent. I, I, I teed yeah. you up and you hit yes, it out of the park. Well, yes, Excellent. when I say things like tick the temperature of the room, people are like, what does that mean? <laughs> well, it's cold out. You know, people are <laughs> looking to buy bread and eggs That's here right. pretty soon. So. <laughs> the French toast effect. French, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Winter storm French toast. Yep. Uh, Cavaliers are hoping they can get hot here. Trailing by one, and ball slapped away, but recovered by the Cavaliers. Blockburg are able to save the possession. Taking it inside, kicking it back out. Welsh double teamed, and give New Bremen credit. They are all over the passing lanes tonight. Yeah, they've got their, their hands on every possession and every pass, and they're, they're very disciplined in that defensive set. They understand the situation. Look, Patrick, they got a chance to come on the road and steal one here from Coldwater, yep. and that would be huge for those kids. And they played, they played as well as they could tonight, I feel like, and, you know, Coldwater trying to hold serve here. So, you know, the next four minutes are really crucial. Four and a half left in the fourth quarter. Back and forth we go here. Blockburger has it. And... Kicks it out. Good ball movement here for the Cavaliers. As they don't need to rush. Both Sweeterman, he, he takes a three ball. No good. Recovered. Leifeld, he'll try a triple. That one is off the mark and will try and chase it down. And saved by Leifeld in the hands of Blockburger. Anytime you get more than one possession on an offensive set, that's huge. This is their third possession on this set. So this is really big for Coldwater. Swing around here, Schwederman, he gets the ball inside, and that puts the Cavaliers on top. Nice job by Schwederman in recognizing where he had to be on the floor. And that one, second chance opportunity, no good. Blockburger on the run. Well, there you saw the yeah. <laughs> Jackson Leonard uh, missed a golden opportunity on the offensive end for New Bremen. Does a great job of rebounding the ball, but he couldn't get himself set, so he tries to take the shot on the rebound, and it doesn't go in. That foul is called on Rogan Muther, his, uh, his second. And Corey Stevens 
getting a bit of an explanation, thought maybe Muther was the recipient of a couple of forearm shivers. And that is not what the, the call ends up being. So Mason Welch is going to check out of the contest. Miles Potcotter checks back in for the Cavaliers. And Patrick, I could be wrong, but if Coldwater scores right here, just let's just say they score a two, a three-point lead would be their biggest lead of the night, I believe. It would be, yes. They had an 18-16 lead in the third quarter. That shot by Blockburger is no good. So two points is their largest lead of the night. And they're going to get Owen Kunk for yeah. running in there. Kunk, uh, no fault of Kunk's own fault, or if, if I'm saying that right. He just ran down to defend the play, and they kind of yeah. ran into each other. And I think the officials were like, hey, we got to make the call here. Yeah. So if he had stopped about a foot short, yeah, right. been yeah. okay. I should have said that. You're right. You're absolutely right. Third team foul on Coldwater. Ball inbound, Leonard's controlling. Three minutes to go in the game. That three ball by Luther is no good. There is some physical rebounding tonight, Patrick. Yeah. They are just letting them play. I, I like it. <laughs> you won't hear me complain. No, right. <laughs> I mean, as long as it's not Art Tribals out there, right, I'm absolutely. usually okay with it. Yeah. Uh, kids, ask your parents what Art Tribals is. <laughs> Here's Schwederman working inside, high off the glass, and no good. I would have liked seeing Schwederman keep that ball up higher, brought it down to his waist, and that's where he got in trouble. Yep. Uther, nice pass inside. Spin move by Leonard's fadeaway shot is good. Nice job by Leonard to keep his composure there, Patrick. Did a great job of keeping his chin towards the rim, and he knocks in the deuce, and now they've got the lead again. 2.14 left in the fourth quarter. The Speedway Lanes fourth quarter. New Bremen. Clinging to a one-point lead after being up by as many as 11. The Bremen's going to stay in that zone. It's really been effective, and it goes off the foot. Another turnover for the Cavaliers. And can the Cardinals make them pay for it? Let's see what they'll do right here with a minute 49 to go and a one-point lead, and they and just turn the ball. And getting the timeout. Not risking a foul call going against them. Not that... You know, they've been one to go oh, yeah. in Well, there you see Blockburger just making a, a great play for the Coldwater Cavaliers, and you expect him to do those things. We talked about him earlier. He's a dirty worker. He gets on the floor. He gets all the grunt work. And there, you know, if they win this game, it's going to be because he scored when he had to, and he did plays like that. And the one thing that you hope as we get into the last 146 of this game, maybe we go into overtime. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but That's where we make the big money. That's right, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, overtime, that's time and a half, yeah. right? Well, not for, not for us. It's free basketball for you. But you hope that the way they call the basketball game doesn't change as we get into the final 90 seconds. And, and of you this know, the, the, I've watched this crew. I've grew up with this crew. I've watched them over the years. And I don't think that's going to happen. These guys are really consistent. And, and you made the great point. They're going to let them play. You said that early in the first quarter. You know what? They've let them play the entire yeah. night. Nothing has changed. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a good crew of guys. I like these guys. And I think the coaches prefer that. If you're going to call the game absolutely. a certain way, call it all four yep. quarters. Yep, you're yeah. absolutely right. I'll get my money from that crew for that nice thing I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John's checked in the mail. Yeah, that's Got right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little pressure. Half court there. Cutting inside is Kunk. Can't get it. Sweeterman with the rebound. Second chance opportunity. No good. Rebound corralled by New Bremen. I thought maybe Leonard had stepped on the foul line or the out of bounds line. And oh, they're going to say they're gonna say it's charge. They are. Offensive foul against Hayden Zeller, getting a nice round of applause from the Coldwater side and, and, for that call. You know, on, on this end of the floor where Coldwater was, Patrick, that's been the story of the night, is those missed shots from close range. And it continues to haunt them. And New Bremen had a great chance to go and, and take a three-point lead there. Cavalier basketball trailing by one. Opportunity to take the lead for only the third time tonight. Nice cut inside, Blockburger, reverse it, and it counts! 
now. That, <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I didn't see that coming, and he flipped that up there so quick, Patrick. That was the right call. That was incredible. So we don't talk about continuation very much at the high school level, but that was that was about as continuation yeah, as you that get. Yeah, was, that was pretty cool. Blockberger gets at least famous recipe free throw is good. It's a 41-39 lead for the Cavaliers. That young man's had a heck of a night, Patrick. He's got 20 on the night. Yep, 20 points for Blockberger of 41 for Coldwater. And now can the Cardinals answer? How about a steal underneath by Brady Leifeld? And now if you're New Bremen, you, you, you got to decide what, how quick you're going to foul here. If you're going to play defense and try to get a steal or maybe a turnover, but you can't let that clock run too much. Kunk all alone decides to pass it off. And you're thinking they're not going to attempt a shot. They don't need to. No. So you got to think how long are you going to And you can see Coach Stevens the down there looking. He's got a, a book of notes down there, and he's checking. I'm sure he's checking free throw percentages. Who are we going to foul? Who are we not going to yeah. foul? Yeah. Timeout here on the floor. We'll take it as well. 34 seconds remaining. Cavaliers with a two-point lead here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Cavaliers looking to send their faithful outdoors with a smile on their face, trailing, or leading, rather. Two-point lead, 41-39, Cavalier basketball. As we'll see how they play this one coming out of the timeout, they will pass it off, and the foul committed as Zeller commits his fourth. Zeller made an aggressive move towards the ball, and he just bodied him up, and you're going to get that call every time. And now Coldwater with 33 seconds to go. They need to do exactly what they need to do, and that's hit free throws. And that puts Kunk at the line, 53%. The least famous recipe free throw is good. And, and, that's, and as a coach, that's what you tell your kids. Look, we're up four. There's 33 seconds to go. We got to do two things. We got to not turn the ball over, and we got to hit free throws. If yep. we do those two things, we're walking out of here with a win. Second free throw is good. Largest lead of the night for the Cavaliers 43 39. Eight points for Kunk. 30 seconds left. Teeman brings it back. Free ball on the way. Go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> a one point lead for the Cavaliers, and timeout. <laughs> Oh, the other thing you got to do is you got to play defense, too. Sorry, I forgot to That, too, right, yeah. <laughs> Playing basketball on both sides of the court. So a timeout here on the floor with 26.4 seconds remaining in this one. The Cavaliers, after this contest, get to play Salina tomorrow night. They uh, travel up north to take on Salina and then down to play Fort Recovery. And then next Saturday, they've got a matchup against St. Mary's. So interesting matchup co coming up for the Cavaliers for New Bremen. After this one, they're back at home for a couple of matchups, Arkham and Marion Local, and then they travel to take on Watkins. A lot of cancellations tonight, Patrick, and I was wondering if we were going to get this game in, and I'm really thankful we got this game in because it's been yep. a dandy. I kind of wondered that as well, but able, glad we're able to bring you this high school basketball contest on WOSN. And it's going to be a photo finish here, so to speak. Now, if you're New Bremen here, you know, the, the, if I'm telling my kids, look, we're going to go for the steal. We're going to, if we can get a 10 second call or a steal, that's great. If they get it across the line, we want to foul immediately. Put them on the line. He's told them who he wants to foul. You're going to let that guy catch the ball if possible, and then you're going to go at it. But ideally, you'd like to get a steal or a 10 second call here. New Bremen throughout the game has had, you know, a couple of really impressive runs. They had a 9 0 run, they had a 10 0 run. Coldwater hasn't had those big runs, but no, they've they just have. been able to chip away at the lead as they pass into Blockburger going inside, and they're going to try and force a foul, and indeed they do. Blockburger fouled by Muther. That's his third. Muther, I, I like the way he did that. He just kind of stuck his hand in there to try to get the ball and try to maybe get away with one there, but he got the <laughs> foul called on him, and uh, Blockburger go to the line, a chance to go over the 20-point mark. First Lee's famous Hitsky chicken shot is good. 21 points tonight 
for Blockburger. 44-42, Cavaliers. And uh, some issue with the basketball. Actually, there are some issues gonna... with the basketball. What? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, they, were... a, they put a terrible towel out there to <laughs> wipe the ball down. Don't say that to a Browns fan. We don't like terrible <laughs> towels. <laughs> uh, Jacksonville doesn't like them very much either. At this point, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Second, the Saints recipe free throw is no good. Two-point lead for the Cavaliers. 20 seconds remaining, and they're going to call timeout. I think it was a timeout. They got a foul. I believe they got a foul. Did they get a foul? They did. Oh, my. Zeller. So Blockburger. <laughs> yeah, Zeller took the ball across half court, yeah. and Blockburger fouled him. Called him the foul. I believe that is, that's the fourth, so that was no more fouls to give for the Cavaliers. New Bremen inbounds. Ball to put off. 15 seconds. Cavaliers with a one-point lead. Almost giving the basketball up. Teeman with the basketball. Seven seconds. Leonard's losing his balance. Off balance. No good. Shot. Sweeterman with the rebound and fouled. To say the least. As that will be called against Zeller. And I believe that is it for Hayden Zeller. He will foul out with nine points tonight. Yeah, I'm not real sure that's the shot they wanted. They were going towards the rim, but they were you, you said it. They were off balance when the ball went up. I would have liked to see something a little better than that. But, you know, that's tough to do when you're, you know, the clock's running down and, and you've got yeah. the ball in your hand. It really is. Balance scoring tonight from the Cardinals. Uh, Teeman, Leonardson put off with eight points apiece. Zeller, who just fouled out, had nine. This Lee's famous recipe free throw is good. And a big one coming up here for Sweeterman and the Cavaliers. Yeah, if he hits this one, you're going to hear me start singing, turn out the lights. The yeah. party's over. I won't actually please, sing. Please that. don't Yeah, sing. I was going to sing. I'm not. <laughs> Lee's free throw is Got good. It. Largest lead of the night for the Cavaliers, 46-42. They'll put up a three, but it won't matter. The Cavaliers with the come from behind win tonight, coming back from 11 down to defeat the New Bremen Cardinals 46 to 42. And I'll tell you what, a great example of a team just chipping away, chipping away, and hanging tough, coming away to win. Yeah, they, 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 you know, we talked about that third quarter start that New Bremen got on a 10 0 run, but let's be honest, Bla Balin Blockberger was the best player on the floor tonight. He goes for 21, he wills his team back into it. They had to play some really good defense, Patrick, and they got it done on their home court. They had to win this game tonight. Blockberger, as you said, with 21 points to pace the Cavalier attack, and Coldwater gets it done at home tonight in the Palace. They come away with a 46. 242 win over New Bremen this evening. That is going to wrap up our coverage of this game. I want to thank you for watching. Thank uh, Megan Sherrick for putting this together. That is going to do it for us tonight. One more time, your final 46. 42 from the Palace Coldwater picking up the win. To Danny Holbrook and our entire WOSN staff, I'm Patrick Hamler saying so long, everybody, from Coldwater.